Happy holidays guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So I know I'm quite a bit late to the party on this one. Um, this news actually dropped probably like 12 to 14 hours ago, but things have been really crazy with the holiday season and holiday parties and all that stuff. So I hope you guys understand. But anyways, let's jump into the main topic in this video, which is the upcoming Dual Dokkan Fest between the Majin Vegeta and also the Transforming Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku on JP. Uh, we now have the details for both these cards as well as a new non Dokkan Fest. Uh, I think Super Saiyan Gohan and also a new Dabura. So let's jump into it. A huge, huge shout out to Goresh for the translations. I know this guy is like on vacation right now and he should be chilling somewhere. I don't know where he is, but he should be relaxing. But instead, he still took the time to do these translations for us so this video uh, could be made so I really appreciate it and uh, for all of you out there right now go down to the comments and uh, say thank you to the homie Goresh and without further ado we're gonna jump in starting with the Super Saiyan 2 Goku so there's a lot of stuff to get through I'm gonna try to do a little bit of analysis but not too much so this video doesn't end up being like 30 minutes okay so leader skill is other world warriors category key plus three HP, attack, and defense plus 170%. It's going to be interesting to see what this category actually looks like. But um, I don't think it's going to be very big. So the 170% across the board makes a lot of sense. And he's also a Super Saiyan 3 category leader too. Key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. So a more balanced version of Super Saiyan 3 Bardock's leader skill, which uh, I'm totally fine with. And then his super attack is Super Kamehameha. Raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage. Uh, passive is prepared for a true showdown, showdown, attack and defense plus 100% and additional defense boost by up to 60%. The more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost and additional attack uh, boost by up to 60%. The less HP remaining, the greater the attack boost. So he'll be tankier when you have more HP and uh, he'll do more damage the closer you are to dying essentially. And he also gets attack and defense plus 30% when performing a super attack if three or more key spheres are collected and transform when conditions are met. So his transformation conditions are that uh, three turns or more have to have passed and there is one enemy with 80% HP or more. So at first when I saw this, I was like, that doesn't seem so good. But then if you think about it, for most of the harder events in the game, even like um, the tougher like Dokkan events, generally speaking, in the later stages and especially the final stage, it's always going to be one enemy, right? There might be some exceptions, I can't think of any, but uh, generally speaking, in the final stages of a Dokkan event, it's going to be one enemy. Um, for the Legendary Goku event, obviously, it's just one, of, one enemy for the entire event, for all the stages. Um, for, what else, like... Uh, I don't know, Battlefield is generally one enemy for uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History. There's going to be a new stage for that too on JP. It's always one enemy, so you should be able to get that condition to go off quite often. I mean, of course, there's exceptions like Super Bad Road, for example. For most of the stages, you can't get that, um, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Link skills are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle, Supreme, War Supreme Power, and Fierce Battle. Pretty decent link set. Categories are Otherworld Warriors, Majin Buu Saga, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, uh, Re Kamehameha, Resurrected Warriors, Transformation Boost, Super Saiyan 2, and Super Saiyan 3. So Super Saiyan 2 is a new category, which we'll get to in a second when we get to Majin Vegeta. And once he transforms, he becomes Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Super attack is Super Kamehameha, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage with a high chance to stun the enemy. And his passive is Wondrous Transformation, attack and defense plus 120% and additional defense boost by up to 77%. The more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost and additional attack boost by up to 77%. The less HP remaining, the greater the attack boost. So the same as pre-transformation, but just bigger boosts. And uh, gains a 33% chance to evade enemy attacks and attack and defense plus 33% if HP or sorry, if three or more key spheres are collected and attacks effective against all types if six or more key spheres are collected. Links are, um, so there's some changes. Saiyan Warrior Race becomes, becomes uh, Limit Breaking Form and Prepare for Battle becomes Over in a Flash. So when it comes to Super Saiyan 3 Goku, um, I don't think it's a huge deal if you're running like a Super, uh, a, uh, Super Saiyan 3 team since 
most of that team is gonna be they're gonna have over in a flash right or actually almost every unit in that category should have over in a flash so it shouldn't be too big of a deal but if you're running like pure saiyans or you know sun family or something like that um there could be some key issues once he transforms because he loses prepare for battle uh which is a little bit unfortunate but it is what it is and overall he looks like he's gonna be really good he's gonna be able to tank really well at high hp and then do a lot of damage at uh, low hp and uh, of course the extra 33 percent attack and defense will help a lot too and the attacks effective against all types if you are able to collect six or more key spheres it's gonna just add to that damage so he looks amazing overall we'll take a look at the animations in just a second after i go through all the details so that's the goku right there the Vegeta is actually very similar in a lot of ways, except with like a few minor changes you'll see in a second. So starting with the leader skill, uh, Super Saiyan 2 category, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 170%. This is for the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, by the way, in case you were confused. Uh, or Resurrected Warriors category, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. Um, Super attack is final flash, raises defense for one turn, and causes immense damage. And his passive is true showdown of determination, so... Um, it's gonna be similar to the Goku. Like I said, attack and defense plus 100% and additional attack boost by up to 60%. The more HP remaining, the greater the attack boost. And additional defense boost by up to 60%. The less HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. So essentially, he gets defense first at high HP. Or sorry, he gets attack first at high HP, where, whereas the Goku will get defense first. And then uh, when you get to lower HP, he'll become more tankier with more defense, whereas the Goku will do more damage at low HP. So that's kind of difference. It's uh, inverse between like the attack and defense. And uh, attack and defense plus 30% when performing a super attack if three or more key spheres are collected, which is the same as Goku, and transforms when conditions are met. So conditions are exactly the same as Goku. Um, so it says powers up to two Babidi's influence if three or more turns have passed and there is one enemy with 80% HP or more. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Pride, Royal Lineage, uh, Prepare for Battle, Supreme Power and Fierce Battle. Categories are Super Saiyan 2, Majin Buu Saga, Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Worthy Rivals, Resurrect Warriors, and Transformation Boost. Okay, so moving on to Majin Vegeta now. Once he transforms, his uh, super attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a high chance to stun. And his passive is uh, attack and defense plus 120% and additional attack boost by up to 77%. The more HP remaining, the greater the attack boost and additional defense boost by up to 77%. The, H the less HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. So uh, same thing as before, just bigger numbers. And attacks effective against all types if three or more key spheres are collected. Um, so the Goku gets this at six key spheres collected. And a guard activated against all attacks if six or more key spheres are collected. So he's going to be very, very tanky uh, if you collect six or more key spheres, since guard activated against all attacks does make a big difference uh, for how much damage you're taking. So uh, that's the passive right there. Links are prepared for battle, or sorry, the <laughs> prepare for battle gets replaced by over in a flash. And uh, for Vegeta, I definitely see this as a bigger issue than I would see it for Goku, since Goku, you can run him on, you know, Super Saiyan 3, right? On, for this guy, um, you can still, you know, put units around him that have over in a flash so that uh, he'll still get key links, but. I just don't I just don't love the fact that these guys lose prepare for battle man like it, it might become an issue uh, especially for Vegeta so uh, that's unfortunate but overall these units look really really good they both look like they're gonna be extremely extremely powerful and uh, I'm looking forward to the showcases I'm looking forward to um, seeing exactly what they can do but on paper they look really really solid guys and okay moving on to the super saiyan i thought it was just gohan but i guess it's saiyan man so saiyan, saiyan man or gohan i'm not really sure but he's going to be on the uh transforming goku banner as the new non-doka fs unit and his leader skill is hybrid saiyans category key plus three 
HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. Super attack is super Kamehameha. Raises attack, and that can be stacked infinitely, and causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. His passive is total opposition. Attack and defense plus 120% and high chance to seal the enemy's attack um, for or super attack for two turns. Super class Majin Buu Saga category allies keep plus two, and attack and defense plus 30%. So if you're just running a you know, all super Majin Buu Saga team, then you're fine. He's gonna give everybody that support. But if you have like some Buu's on there or any other extreme units from the category, um, those guys won't get the support at all, which uh, is, you know, kind of sucks. I, I wish it was just straight up like a Majin Buu Saga category allies keep plus two and attack and defense plus 30%. But I guess the first part of his passive is already uh, really good. So they wanted to counter that a little bit. So. That's his passive. Uh, links are Brainiacs, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Hero of Justice, Supreme Power, and Fierce Battle. And his categories are Majin Buu Saga, Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Siblings Bond, Kamehameha, and Super Saiyan. So, a uh, really good card overall. And this is the Bura. Uh, Majin Buu Saga, category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. Super attack raises defense. So, obviously, great for uh, Infinite Dragon Ball history. Legend, Legendary Goku event, so on and so forth, and causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. Passive is attack and defense plus 120%, medium chance to stun the enemy for two turns, and extreme class Majin Buu Saga category allies keep plus two, and attack and defense plus 30%. So uh, kind of similar to the Super Saiyan Gohan, except he stuns and he only gives extreme class allies on the Majin Buu Saga category. The support, right? And his links are Brutal Beatdown, Loyalty, Master of Magic, Majin Resurrection Plan, uh, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, and Fierce Battle. So there you go, guys. Those are all the details. Huge, huge shout out to Goresh. And we're gonna move on now to the official Dokkan JP Twitter page where we can see all of these animations. So I'm gonna actually turn up the sound a little bit. I'm gonna pause this real, real quick first. And oh, this is actually for a free to play transforming uh, Great Saiyan Man and also a Yamu and Spopovich. So I'm gonna skip that first. Uh, let's go over here to. You know what? Let's start with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I'm gonna turn up the sound just a bit and uh, I'm gonna be quiet while we play and then I'll react to it right after. Okay, so here we go, guys. Gonna make this full screen and enjoy. Okay, so the first thing we started with here is the uh, Super Saiyan Gohan, or uh, he said uh, Goresh said Super Saiyan Saiyan Man, but it doesn't look like Saiyan Man to me, so I'm I'm assuming uh, that was a mistake. Super Saiyan Gohan here, um, you know, decent super attack right there, nothing too crazy though. But the the Goku, the Goku man, especially after he transforms into Super Saiyan Three, is just amazing, like amazing, amazing animations they've. I mean, I would say they outdid themselves, but they've been doing a really good job with these animations recently. So uh, just keeping the trend of uh, using scenes from the anime and, in my opinion, actually improving upon them a little bit with these animations. So um, it's great. Looks really, really good. Uh, no complaints here, especially this close up of the Super Saiyan 3 Goku's Kamehameha. Amazing animation. Um, this video is getting really long, so I'm going to move on to the next guy now, the Majin Vegeta. So we see Dabura first and then Majin Vegeta. So turn up the sound just a little bit, and uh, here we go.
Yeah, so uh, I don't, I don't think, I don't think the Majin Vegeta's animations honestly are as good as Goku's, but um, still top tier for sure, no question. Still top top tier animations, and uh, I actually really like the sound effects too. I don't, I don't know if you guys paid attention to that, but the sound effects for all the like beams and the blasts and stuff uh, are really good too. So uh, both of these guys look absolutely phenomenal. If you guys. Are, you know, are into super attacks uh this is definitely it this is definitely definitely it um phenomenal job to the animators the people that made these uh, animations mad props uh, i love this little close-up of his face and he like looks up at you uh for some reason it's like really funny to me <laughs> i don't know why it's, it's just like i like it i like it a lot so that is the animations or those are the animations for majin vegeta and uh, finally we're going to take a look at this uh transforming great saiyan man and also the yamu and spopovich both of which are i believe free to play units i'm like 99 percent sure they're free to play uh i don't think we have the actual details for them yet but um they look really nice too man so let's check this out the sound is on here we go All right, so there, there's, there's that. Um, this, this transformation looks amazing. Like the whole, you know, um, you know, like his costume, like just coming out of nowhere, and then the whole great same man pose, the dance, and everything. Um, the actual like attack itself doesn't look that great, obviously, but the the <laughs> the, the, the great same man, I don't know, what it's called like dance, right? It just, just makes up for it for sure. So I love that. Uh, this one's okay too. I like how they stick it right in his crotch. Um, looks pretty painful, and I mean they're they're not really like characters that had a lot of time in the show, so uh, there wasn't really much they could do with that. But that was totally fine with me too. So great looking animations, even for free to play units. Um, and that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video, guys. I'm a I'm gonna put on the super Super Saiyan 3 Goku stuff while we while we sign out of here, so you guys can still see it uh, play in the background. Um, still ended up being about a 20 minute video, which I was hoping to not, um, I was hoping it wouldn't get to that point, but I mean, there's just so much info to cover, so, uh, sorry, this is a bit longer, but hopefully it was worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are excited for these units. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys do play JP, uh, whether or not you plan to summon for them. One thing I will say is that the five year anniversary for JP is very, very close, like, uh, about two months away, so uh, I wouldn't personally go too crazy for these guys, even though they look phenomenal, even though they are probably going to be very, very strong units, um, and I'm sure their banners are going to be good too, they're going to have some very good value banners, uh, they, they, they won't be able to beat whatever the LRs are for the 5 year anniversary, right? And it's most likely going to be a Gogeta Blue, as well as um, possibly like a new Broly, or maybe a... Uh, Vegito Blue or something like that. Who really knows? Who really knows? But it's gonna be good. That's what I can tell you. It's gonna be like five year anniversary is gonna be amazing. So um, don't you know spend everything. Don't go all out for these guys. That's my that's my opinion. That's my recommendation. Do whatever you want, of course. So let me know in the comments down below what your plan is. Uh, let me know your opinions on the animations, on the details of the units. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Now I'm gonna get ready for another Christmas party tomorrow. And uh, also, you know, some editing and stuff like that. So, um, it's going to be a busy couple of days for your boy Tiger. But once again, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are having an amazing holiday season. Spending a lot of good time with your family and friends. And as always, if you enjoyed the video today, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here, until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.